السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی نیم از طاہر غازی آئی ایم سبحان اللہ بورن اینڈ براٹ اپ فرام ایمسٹرڈیم سٹی اینڈ آئی کیم سبحان اللہ ایٹین ایئرس بیک آئی ریورٹ ٹو اسلام آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو تھینک یو آنسٹلی فرام دا باٹم آف مائی ہارٹ جزاکم اللہ خیرن بیکاز مائی مینٹر is Dr. Zakir Naik. Takbir! 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 Dr. Dar- Zakir Naik's uh, mentor is Sheikh Ahmed Didat. And mine is Dr. Zakir Naik. After reverting to the beautiful religion of Islam, I have... learned a lot through Peace TV, where it started all, my journey started all in Amsterdam city. SubhanAllah. So my parents, uh, my whole family is from a non-Muslim family background. Uh, the question that my mother always asked me is, why you Muslims always want to invite us towards uh, Islam? Why you just don't leave us alone? I tell her, my mother, my dear mother, because I love you and I want to protect you from the falsehood which you have been uh, learning. So this is the message to all our uh, non-Muslim brothers and sisters that we would love to protect them from the falsehood so they will see the truth. The truth is the beautiful revelation which was bestowed upon our upon our messenger prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam which is the la- last and final revelation the quran so uh, the question to you dr zakir could you advise me if i have done the right thing in explaining to them that this is a falsehood and um If this is the right thing, the right reply that I gave back to them, that I want to save them from the falsehood and I would guide them towards truth. Obviously, I'm not the guide. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. MashaAllah. Jazakum Allahu khair. And your wife, sister Farhat, is an inspiration for me as well. She became my friend. So, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. All fadl min Allah hadha. Benji ka sawal hai. کہ وہ ایمسٹرڈیم میں رہتی تھی اور اٹھارہ سال پہلے وہ واپس آ گئی پاکستان میں اور کہتی ہے کہ میں پھر سے اسلام مذہب میں جنم لی ہوں کیونکہ وہ ان کی باتوں سے لگ رہا ہے کہ وہ اسلام سے دور تھی اور نو 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 مائی ہول فیملی از نان مسلم دے آر دیر آر جو دیر آر کرسچن کیتھلک ہندو مسلم یو نیم اٹ دے ڈونٹ بلیو ان دا کانسیپٹ آف One God, they say you have to respect all religion, and Masha this Allah. is one. And I said no. So I took myself out from that family. But uh, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he Masha will Allah. guide them. Allahumma ameen. MashaAllah. So I have to clarify that the people who are in Muslim are Muslim. They are from Islam. They are from my videos. They are from 18 years ago. They have accepted Islam. اور ابھی جب وہ دعوت دیتے ہیں اسلام کے بارے میں تو ان کے جو خاندان کے لوگ ہیں وہ مسلمان سے نفرت کرتے ہیں اور ان سے پوچھتے کہ کیوں آپ اسلام کی دعوت دیتے ہیں تو بہن کہتی ہے کہ میں حق کی طرف بلاتی ہوں اور حق کا پیغام جو اللہ تعالیٰ دیتے ہیں قرآن مجید میں اور آخری نبی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم حدیث میں دیتے وہ صحیح ہے تو یہ پوچھتے ہیں کیا یہ صحیح ہے کیا نہیں یہ بے شک صحیح ہے بہن اللہ کا پیغام پہنچانا قرآن مجید کی تعلیمات غیر مسلم کو پہنچانا بالکل صحیح ہے اور خصوصاً آپ کے لیے کیونکہ آپ کے والدین آپ کے آپ کے خاندان کے لوگ سسٹر ڈو انڈرسٹینڈ اردو اور ناٹ سوری ڈو یو انڈرسٹینڈ اردو آئی ایم سوری سو بیٹر اسپیک ان انگلش آئی واز ریپیٹنگ یور کوشچن سسٹر And regarding your question that are you right in telling your family members that the real guidance is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is given in the Quran 
and from our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You're totally right, sister. Alhamdulillah. You're totally right. You should give the message of Allah, that is the Quran, and the message of the Prophet mentioned in the Hadith. But giving the translation of the Quran is very good. But as we have heard in my talk, the master key for Dawa is Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse 64. Where Allah says, Ta'ala ila kalimatin sawa in bainan bainakum. Come to common terms as bin asanyu, which is the first term, Allah na bida illallah, that we worship none but Allah. When you are speaking to your family if they are Christian, to break the ice, as you may have heard in my talks, you should say Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Christians and the Muslims are going together. That is parting of faith. The parting of faith is that many Christians think that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. And they think that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. So you have to tell your family members that there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, always is worshipping. And you can throw a challenge or you can say there is a lunatic person, joker looking person wearing a suit and a cap, trousers above the ankle. He is saying that there is not a single unequivocal statement, not a single unambiguous statement anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God, always says worship me. If any Christian can show me a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God, always says worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. Can I say something, if you don't mind? Sure. So, with your teachings, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, I've been given da'wah through the world, traveling over, and I, subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose me. I didn't expect this, this would happen to me, that so many non-Muslims accepted Islam. After your messages from the Quran and the Sunnah, I'm thankful and grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I could, you know, send this message forward of you. Alhamdulillah, jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. But sister, you have to continue doing da'wah with your family members. Yes. If they don't, you, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ghashia, chapter 88, verse number 90 to 22, فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّ مَنْ تَمُذَكِّرْ Your job was to deliver the message. Hidayah is in the hands of Allah. So if you are successful with so many people, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, I don't know. But if your family members aren't accepting, it is not in your hand. Sorry. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he gave the message to his beloved uncle, yes. Abu Talib. And it was his desire he accepted Islam, even on his deathbed he did not. Yes. So when Prophet Muhammad could not do that, who are you and me? Nothing. Yes, yes. So this proves that Hidayah is in the hands of Allah. Allah. And who is a better Hidayah than our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? We are not even 0.0001% when Prophet could not convince then who are the we? person who protected the Prophet. It was because of his uncle Abu Talib, the father of Hazrat Ali, may Allah be pleased with him. He protected him. Why? Because of the culture, tribe. My nephew, anyone touches, I will stand there. He protected him with life, with wealth. Allah didn't give him his ayah. Prophet wanted. When this verse was revealed, that it is Allah who will give his ayah, the person who laughed the most was Hazrat Bilal. Hazrat Bilal laughed a lot. Why are you laughing? If his was in the hands of somebody else, me a black slave would have been last. And Hazrat Bilal, he was amongst one of the few first people to accept Islam. So Hidayah is in the hands of Allah. But whatever dawah you do with your family, inshallah you will get reward. You may get more reward even than making someone else a Muslim. So you continue sister. Allah will be with you. 
irrespective they agree or not you keep on continuing and i pray to allah subhanahu wa taala may he give you that technique or that ability to make people accept islam and may i pray to allah that may he give hidayah to your family members hope that answers the question